like well it does grow in open conditions typically in lower abandoned fields and that sort of thing you know it's an ash primarily two reasons one is if you look up at the branching uh, ash and maple are the only ones that branch dead opposite of each other okay can, so if you can see oh, yeah. if you go out a little branch a little bit you'll see the the stout branches are sticking out dead opposite from each other so if you see opposite branching it has to be either a maple or an ash and it's not a maple because of the thickness of the branches so they're really stout they have a big compound leaf so they have like seven little leaflets that hang off on one stem that's why their branches are so big and strong sometimes they look kind of dead in the winter time but they're not dead they're just stout branches so in green ash like i mentioned has this fine diamond uh, pattern to its bark you'll see white ash in a upland sugar maple bush sort of environment and it'll have a really deep, like very well described uh, diamond shape to its bark. Um, and black ash will grow in very wet soil, like up to your knees in the spring with water. Um, and black ash has a very similar bark, but it's very corky. Like it actually feels like cork when you push it in with your fingernail. But all the ashes have that stout branching. So. And are all the ashes vulnerable to the ash borer? Yes, the ash all of them, yeah. We also black have, not here, but like down in um, Essex County, we have blue ash, no, the, and we have uh, pumpkin ash, and they're getting eaten as well, so yeah. And prickly ash? Prickly ash is not a true ash. Keep them on his toes, are Tim, which is the one you get the caning out of? Is that the black ash? Caning. Yeah, you pound it. To oh, the did that years ago. That's right, it was black ash, that's right. Black ash, I think, yeah. For what? Yeah. what? For caning, for chairs and... Oh, yeah, for bending and that. Yeah. yeah. So you pound it just to chairs. break up the... Yeah. yeah, I think it's to break the fibers up. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you, you pound it and then you, yeah. you pull the strips off. Pound, yeah. pound, pound, yeah. pull. Yeah, a certain time of the year it'll get yeah. together, right? Yeah, 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 I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, they were after summer. it in the spring and it was... Yeah. They had very specific, like, uh, hard... Certain diameters and certain It was a lot of work, I can tell you. Yeah. Aboriginal furniture makers. Yeah, interesting.